This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? This is the MG4, and in this video, I'm going to do an interior view, and I will also check how baby stuff will fit in the car. So, yes, this is the video you guys have been waiting for. So, uh, actually, I haven't opened the front yet. This is a pure electric platform, a new, brand new platform from MG. So, will it have a front? Well, let's check it out. Okay, let me see. It has a relatively short hood. I like it. Whoa, what the heck? Uh, okay. Uh, I guess no front. We have some coolant here. This is for washer fluid. And, uh, well, the motor is actually in the back. So, the, well, I can see there is... Wait, wait, I, I gotta show you guys this. So, see here... Uh, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see, but... Under here, you see that there seems to be lots of space reserved for maybe a future front drive unit because uh yeah i'm not sure if it comes in in all wheel drive eventually but there is actually a significant space under there they could have made the 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 hood shorter or they just have it a crumble zone huh and then interesting back end of this mg4 it looks kind of sporty and also futuristic and we have this spoiler here that improves the aerodynamics and drag coefficient so let's see it has no kick sense or anything, it's just manual lift gate. It's uh, a budget car after all. And then, you know, I have Aura Goodcat nearby here. And the Aura Goodcat has very similar size as the MG4, but we have more space here than the MG4, uh, the, 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 than the Aura Goodcat. So here we have the Shuko cable, or it's not Shuko, I forgot. It's the household cable. And then uh, under here, I guess. So we have interior light there. We have a slight pocket here for storing your shit. Another pocket here, but you see the wheel is really here. It's like we have very nice and long wheelbase. Uh, that uh, contributes to the comfort of this car. So very impressive, but it kind of limits a little bit of the trunk space here. But here under the lid here, we, we can't really utilize any space here, unlike many other EVs. So I guess some of the tri drivetrain has been packed in here. You see, here is uh, where, where the heck is this thing. Wow, it's freaking big and long and black. Okay, that's good. Then we have pump and stuff here. But you see, in Thailand, the cars, they don't come with type 2 cable as standard. So it's just the household plug. And then, wait, wait, wait. This one here seems like there is a, like a slot for holding something. Hmm. But you can't really raise, it seems like, yeah, you know what? Seems like there's supposed to be another, another lid, but this one doesn't, but does it go up here? Like this? Let me see, if I can try just carefully slide it in. No, you see, th this one doesn't, no, it doesn't fit. There's supposed to be another lid, I think, on top of this one again. Huh. Okay, now let's do the measurement. Good old style with an analog measurement tool. So let's see, the trunk at the deepest is um, uh, 70 centimeters. And then the width here, oh, okay, at the, the yeah, roughly here-ish is, Oh, about 95 centimeters. It's okay-ish. And then the height here is then uh, 73 centimeters. And then I guess diagonally, you also want to know this one. Okay, let's measure it there. Ah, uh, 70, 79 centimeters. And then what about loading height? Should be fairly low, right? Yeah, about 70 centimeters. And yes, you know how you do an inline measurement. You look at, you look at whatever you have here, right? Until this point, and then you add the length of this one. Yeah, like a ninja, now you know. All right, so um, hmm, maybe you should fold the seat and measure again. Wow, we have almost flat floor here. So if there was like a, a cover here, then you will actually get a, a completely flat, almost flat floor here for sleeping in it. But is it long enough for sleeping? So I have now pushed the passenger seat all the way forward. And then remember that over here, the steering wheel is on the right side with the wrong side, should have been left side with the right side. So if we extend it all the way there, then we actually have about 183 centimeters. Very impressive. Wait, is this even better than Kona? Huh? Wow. And maybe because the, the, the hood is relatively short. And then here we have 166 centimeters. And then what about diagonally? Like uh, if you have a, a, a long shaft from Ikea, right? 
I'm gonna put the shaft in here. Oh, 200, 205 centimeters. This is very impressive for such a compact car. <laughs> and here we have Cybex e Priam. It's considered a medium sized stroller. And then we have, uh, before we used to have the, the, the carry cord, which is a lot bigger, but now Isabel is more than six months. So then we use the seat pack. So it's not that big, but will it fit in the trunk here without taking off the wheels? Let's try. Okay, let's see if we take this one, the frame first, can we fit? Oh, we can, whoa, we can fit it here without taking off the wheels. In the pussycat, we have to always take off the wheels. And then, let me see, what about the, this part? Well, actually, we could just put it here if you're lazy, or you can even fold it further uh, to make it completely, yeah, like this, for example. But let's just try to do it like more commonly in and out more often, right? So we just have it in this position and then it eats up a little bit more space, but whoa, 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 I am, um, uh, now I'm officially impressed of the space in this MG4, wow. And then here, look here, for ease to fix, whoa, this is awesome. Wow, I can feel that, you know, I can feel the hooks there. This is really impressive. Wow. You see? And actually, if you cover it, it just it just feels nice and soft. Some of the Swedish cars and the German cars, there is some kind of hard plastic. But here, you actually have the same function, but with the comfort. And also, you can see that the seat is relatively flat. So for, for a daddy, you know, from a daddy's per perspective, this is really good because then you can easily see the, the thing on the, yeah, the, the car, uh, child seat. So now, let's try to fit it in here. Okay, don't mind the music. They're going to announce something. We are, we are, after all, we are in the freaking village over here. Okay, anyway, now we take the easy fix base, take it in here, extend the hooks. Oh, it's so easy to locate the opposing hooks here. Look at this. Oh, this is so easy. And then we, this is the whole thing. You see that we don't have too, too deep uh, dip in here. So I can then just poke over and see that this one is green. This one is green. Then we just push it a little bit further in. And now we are secured. We check here, all right? And you see the door open relatively wide. We have good door opening here. And then we take the uh, cloud set and just place it in here. Ideally, we need to have some weight in here. There, that's it, easy. Okay, now let's check the width of the seat. How big is it roughly? 130 centimeters, that is decent. And then what about seating height? Oh, you know what? This also feels good, let me see. The height here to around this point, it's roughly 34 centimeters. So despite being a low car, you know, typically electric cars, they have battery pack under here, which eats up some, some crucial space. And then since it's a, some, some kind of sedan, then you have limited headroom and they have to do some compromise. Here, I have to say you sit okay. Good, uh, good leaning position, good position, not too much short bends. Wow. And then one small detail, I'm gonna show you guys. So we have uh, this uh, MG4 actually cost around 970K a bot in Thailand. This one is similar price actually, or a good cut. Let's try the door closing sound comparison. And then inside in the MG. And then the pussycat. In the back, you have some pockets for store. Where can we put a phone there? Is that big enough? Let me see. Yeah, you can because this is a Thai can, of course. Yeah, why not? Well, let me see. But uh oh, as far as I can see, there are no air vents here. There are no air vents here, and then just USB A, and that's it. A little pocket there. 
Yeah, no air vents in there. Well, at least there's a hook here for hanging your shit. And then, let me just show you here. This one is side soft, but everything else is just hard plastic. You have a little door pocket there, okay. And that's it, really. And then no panorama roof, no such luxury. And then what about headroom? Oh, I'm 173 centimeters. And we don't even have a fist of clearance. We have maybe just two, two, three, two to three fingers of clearance. That's it, so it's kind of tight in here. And then, whoa, what about, what is, what, what's up with this? No middle headrest. I guess Chinese cars and safety doesn't go well together. And then, wait, no, no middle armrest or anything like that here. Oh, okay, kind of, I have to say, kind of sparse interior. And also another thing that kind of matters maybe for some people is that there is no interior light in the back here. So at night, it becomes quite dark here. And also one very important question is, how many chicks can you fit in the back seat of the MG4? See, you know, you see, the chicks, they have, uh, <laughs> they have this, this uh, Steadicam, built-in Steadicam. Okay, I'm not going to put it in there. Okay, I'll let you go. Nice chick. Oh, yeah. And then the driver's seat. We actually have electric adjustable seat, but uh, we can't adjust this uh, front part here. And there's no lumbar adjustment and also as far as i've uh, searched for there's also no memory so just like the set this ev you just have seat here with no memory but maybe you can do something with the profile like the, the aura good cut i'm not sure but i like this one the steering wheel can be adjusted up and down in and out so i can actually find a very comfortable seating position in uh, or a good cut or the leaf or you know cars where you can only go up and down typically i will have the steering wheel a little bit too far away i prefer having it i think you're supposed to have it you're supposed to have your arm around 90 degrees angle like roughly like here and then you're supposed to sit kind of upright also this is supposed to be the safest the driving position right right am i right and then here, the, uh, the sun visor can pivot, but that's it, not extend. And here, similar to the back. Well, I kind of like this design. Yeah, we have a door pocket here for storing your shit. Fairly large. Okay, we have a button for light switch. Then this is for uh, uh, mirror adjustment. And then, okay, steering wheel has some buttons here. A good feel on on stuff uh, the way yeah there's the feedback and everything on the buttons even though they're plastic and then what about the horn yeah good sound on the horn also all right and then yeah nothing else to see here so this one okay it has a charging pad in the middle here so let me let's show you if I put my phone there it should start there 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 the phone is currently wireless charging. Okay, so there's a notification and it's charging there. It can actually fit fairly wide phones, but I wonder, yeah, will it slide around? It seems like this surface is, okay, it's a little bit rubberized, but it's not that non-slip. But okay, we have the steering, uh, I mean, the, the gear stock over here. We have park brake here, it just it says MG Electric. And then under here, we see we have, there we have a 12 outlet. One USB, well, let me show you here. There's, we have one USB-C and one USB-A. Well, that is good. Cup holders here. Yeah, and also, a oh shit, sorry. A fairly big space here for storing your shit. And you can also close this one. Huh? This is quite stylish. And also here, a little strap on for more items. And then here, ginger snack. This is also a, a fairly big, big room for storing your uh, items. So. I actually like the, I like the, the design on the stuff here. It, it makes it open. You free up some space because it's a pure electric platform, and it feels okay. Like this one feels okay. It's a little bit plastic here and there. I have to admit, the screen is also kind of small, but uh, yeah. Other than that, okay. This one, huh? The light is yellowish. We have a holder here for uh, uh, sun glasses. Here, on the other hand. 
there is no light for the mirror the makeup there's no makeup light here also no makeup light so uh kind of sparse interior uh the seats has good side support it's like uh, it's probably some kind of vegan right you know nobody uses real cow leather nowadays but it, gi it gives you good side support i give you that and then when it comes to headroom here well let me close the door you see it better we have roughly one fist of headroom here i think that's uh, fairly good and then the tall people they would just take their seat further down like this and then suddenly you have a little bit more than one fist of headroom there so i'd say that the headroom here is uh, quite acceptable yeah and then what else should i show you okay uh the back i mean for such a small car actually the the space in the back is is okay but i like this one a lot the instrument cluster here because you have the driving information here you have the speedometer always visible here you have state of charge and gum always visible here with the uh, driving uh, mode everything is visible here always unlike some other chinese cars oh, it was or a good cut and also the previous uh, set s uh, it was super annoying because you see i want to see this one we have some trip meter here you can press here and then you can change to see uh you see trip meter and it will always be visible here and you see all the stats here again in the or good cut you only see one variable at a time you have to cycle between them if you want to see kilometers and then uh, what are kilometers or something here you see everything in one screen or you can go you can go to a different uh, screen here let me see where, where was the tire pressure yeah here so, oh okay it's kind of low maybe i should fill some of them uh let's see and also over here we have the main screen also okay user interface but it's buggy let me show you what i mean you see here you can adjust temperature here right in the hvac or if you press here you can also enter uh, this one but you see this is freaking tiny like try pressing on these buttons when you are driving they should be way bigger you, just, you know it's kind of a little bit bumpy especially in thailand you try to try to hit that button or when you are here and you just want to increase or decrease something here right okay it's fairly fine to do it now when you're stationary but if you misclick a little bit when you're moving uh then this happens and you enter this one and, it's like, uh, uh, and then you have to refocus what you're supposed to do and then okay it's over here and this is freaking tiny here and then okay so we set it to 25 degrees celsius we have a button here a, ho a hot key when okay so when you are not in this hvac setting and you, you press this one you will bring up you'll bring up the, sc the screen here like a like a hot hot screen and you can just toggle it on and off and then be like okay let's decrease the temperature here okay maybe not let's change the fan speed okay not all right wh wh why not okay uh, and there's just this car is loaded with bugs wait why can't i kind of go oh shit you have to press this button yeah you see uh it, it's not very well designed and also if you go here every time you start driving it will reset some of these uh, assistant uh, thing maybe it's because i'm not logged into but it's still even if i'm not logged into this car with a profile it should not keep resetting all this stuff you know so that's kind of bad user interface but also it's full of bugs uh, i don't have time to explain all the bugs but in general the the user interface here is kind of messy uh, and also it's it's pain in the butt to use it while you are driving when you're stationary okay it's better but yeah but overall though uh this one here is a big surprise a, a big positive surprise okay there you guys have it the mg4 in the beginning when i look at it at the, the motor show i didn't really like the interior i felt like it was kind of cheap and, and to be honest it is kind of cheap it lacks interior light in the back it lacks lots of features that you will find in other similar priced car but the space surprised me and then well it, when it comes to all the driving and everything i'll explain you in another video but also the whole driving experience also surprised me big time i was almost shocked when i started driving the car but you have to find it in another video but what i have to say is that the interior here there are other cars with better interior but at least for this price i think actually the mg4 is a very strong competitor so i think that's going to be it for now Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.